Pet owners, listen up. You may not realize it, but right outside your front door or edging your patio may be common plants that are extremely toxic to dogs and cats. Dr. Melissa Webster from the Tampa Veterinary Hospital can tell us what to be on the lookout for and what is safe to plant. Dr. Webster, good to have you here. Oh, thank you for having me. So what are some common plants that are toxic to cats and dogs? Well, we have the whole family of lilies are very concerning. Cats in particular can have some effects with two particular lilies that come to mind. We think of Easter lilies in general, uh -huh. but with tiger lilies, ornamental lilies, those are very kidney toxic to kitty cats. Every Christmas we hear poinsettias are, are mm -hmm. toxic. Is this true or false? They, they are toxic, but not to the degree of something as serious as a sago palm, for instance. Let's talk about the sago mm -hmm. palm, because I read about this online recently. Mm -hmm. If your dog happens to eat, what, what would they be eating? The, 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 seed the seed or the base of the plant uh -huh. and the fruit of the plant There's are the sago. highly, yes. These are very common yes. in Florida. Mm -hmm. And you see them as ornamental trees in front mm -hmm. of a lot of people's yards. So if you see your dog eating mm -hmm. a, a seed from this, mm -hmm. what could happen? They can develop liver failure, acute liver failure, and seriously die. It's probably one of the most concerning plants that's so common in our yards and here in Florida. Is there something about that seed that the dog is drawn to? Do they love the taste of it? Um, not that I'm aware of, but okay. I think it's just being able to hunt for lizards, mm -hmm. which a lot of our dogs do in our yards. I think it's a common lizard hangout, so they go in there and then they start biting for the lizard and I think ingest some of the seeds, plus the seeds fall on the ground, mm -hmm. so they're really accessible. So if you have animals and you have these palms, mm -hmm. is it best to just get rid of these palms? My suggestion, and I took them out of our yard because because it's so serious because one seed if you have a small dog can kill the dog oh. and it, the biggest thing is you need to get them to the vet right away and not all the time do we supervise our animals in our backyards right so, so. better safe than sorry Correct. Uh, lilies okay mm -hmm. a whole bunch of different kinds of lilies are, yes. are an issue is this particularly for cats or, or is this more for both well dogs aren't as affected by lilies they're okay. not truly toxic they may vomit from eating part of a lily but the cats and are the ones that are really serious with getting ingestions from lilies and having trouble but and this is the Aaron lily and these I, I think are pretty common yes they're very common and are cats drawn to those or? I, cats are really drawn to flowers just in general especially when they're in our homes uh -huh. ornamentally you know when you have a beautiful arrangement lilies are commonly used this is the calla lily mm -hmm. this is a very common plant and calla lilies that plant in particular has a calcium oxalate with it which is a little spiny crystal that when the cat chews on the plant either getting the leaf in particular they can get these shards in their tongue and it makes them drool a lot salivate they can vomit they can have a swollen tongue uh, the worst part is trouble breathing There's the Easter lily. A lot right. of people have those yes. in, their, in their homes. And so if you notice your cat has any symptoms mm -hmm. whatsoever, what, just rush them to the vet Bring them to immediately. The vet. Yes. Uh, how many plants are toxic to dogs? Dogs, when uh, there are about 398 plants that are toxic to dogs, oh. and, yeah, and about 393 that were toxic to cats. Good golly. So how do we, what do we do? Just mm -hmm. How, do, how can we be safe? <laughs> how can we keep our plant, our animals safe? It is it is quite a challenge. Uh, definitely, I think educate yourself. If you can go online, you can look up on one of the websites. If you go to Animal Poison Control Center, they have a good list of plants. Okay, and with pictures. With pictures. Perfect. So that's really helpful, and you can kind of look and see what plants you have, right? And be aware, basically. Keep an eye on your pets, mm -hmm. Dr. Melissa Webster. Thank you very very thank much. You. Hey, we'll have more information at DaytimeOnline.tv where you can learn more about harmful plants. We'll be right back.